Welcome to the Mortgage Update with Dan Frio. For over 10 years, Dan has been helping AM1160 listeners. With so many companies to choose from and hundreds of loan options, the mortgage process can be confusing and costly. Be sure to listen each day for Dan and learn the difference between FHA, VA, and conventional loans. You'll also learn how to negotiate lower interest rates and fees, as well as steps to buying your first home and whether refinancing makes sense. Stay tuned to find out why Chicago's top realtors are choosing Dan Frio. Well, welcome back to the Mortgage Update with Dan Frio, and thank you so much for tuning in. Um, Today, we're going to talk about government guaranteed mortgages. And what those entail is FHA mortgages, uh, VA mortgages, and believe it or not, USDA mortgages. And I'm just going to touch briefly on those. There's so much, I'll say, I won't really say bad. There's a lot of misinformation out in the market. And that's really why I want to address this. Because on a daily basis, I have clients call me, you know, or the, the bad thing is I have a YouTube channel that a lot of people kind of tag on to. And then I get a lot of questions that way that the, the questions people were asking are, I'll say they're somewhat basic, but their, their response back to me is, is, you know, I spoke with someone else and then the, the information they're giving me or telling me about is actually the information they received from that other person. So supposedly the expert was wrong. So let me, let me just recap. My name is Dan Frio. I'm the, uh, the mortgage update. You hear me every day on AM 1160, hope for your life radio. Uh, you hear my commercials. You also hear me every day live with Mark Elfstrom at 5.20 p.m. So if you're driving, you probably hear me. Um, if you would, check out my website. And I try to make all of this stuff as easy as you can to find. Probably one of the best ways to, to find me is just Google Dan. It's D-A-N. Last name is Frio. F-R-I-O. You'll go to my mortgage website. There's a YouTube channel. Uh, there's probably close to 200 videos on there. And I was pumped because I just told my son, I kind of track that every day. That's kind of my, I guess, hobby, I guess, um, is I think I just hit 2000 subscribers and about 80,000 um, views. So that was kind of cool. Um, so check, check those out. And um, if you want to reach me, it's, it's really easy to find me. And again, everything is the theme of 1160. So again, the website, 1160 mortgage.com. My phone number, 630-338-1160. So let's get on to FHA mortgages. And again, this might help a lot of people. So if you've been recently um, denied an FHA loan, don't give up. Please don't give up. That's kind of the, the essence of this show. Don't give up. Find the facts. Get the truth. Reach out to different people. Just because you called your your local bank or the, the company that somebody, you know, said they do a great job and you called them, um, you know, doesn't mean, and they, t- and they turned you down, doesn't mean you can't get a loan. Also, a lot of the, the big advertisers or the big banks, they're great companies, but please shop around. You can probably save yourself some money. What I mean by in money is costs and rate. So most of the time, the reason why I stay in business is the goal is to, for me to be able to beat anything you can find on your own. So that's the whole gist of why I do this, just to try to educate you and give you some information on how to kind of seek that additional information or or things like that. And especially if you've been declined, so we're going to work on mortgages, different types of mortgages you might be able to qualify for, the facts behind those mortgages. At the end of each show, I'm going to go over some credit tools for you or with you. Um, The main site that we use is creditscoresandmore.com. It is a website that has, it's basically do-it-yourself credit scoring and credit repair. Um, So we'll get to that at the end of every show. So today, again, we're going to talk about government guaranteed loans. So we're going to start out with FHA, and then we're going to move on to VA, because a lot of veterans don't really know if they qualify, um, and they they don't really go down that avenue because they really don't know the benefits of of a VA loan. So let's start out. An FHA loan, here's the facts behind it. The facts are FHA does not have truly a minimum credit score. Okay. So you're going to say, well, Dan, you know, I have a 400 credit score and I've been denied a hundred times. Well, you still have to have good credit. So the tough thing is you might have 
thin credit, we call thin, basically just a couple accounts. Let's say you have three or four accounts and you have two credit cards um, that are, you know, a year or two old, a car loan that you just, you know, took out, and then you have three medical bills. You might have a terrible credit score, but you're really not a terrible credit risk. So let's go through the credit scoring piece first. Credit scores, basically, we're going to start at at 500. And again, I, I know I said there's no minimum credit score, but let's just start somewhere. So if you have a 400 or something like that, you know, reach out to me. I'll try to help you. Um, but let's let's start with a 500 to a 580 credit score. You can purchase a house or refinance a home. The guidelines behind that is you could go up to 90% of the home's value. So I will reference LTV in, in this um, show many times today and in the future. What loan to value, that's what we call it, LTV, which is loan to value. What that basically is, it's, it's the loan amount divided by the value of your home. So make put it in mathematic terms. You owe $100,000 on your loan. Your value is $200,000. You take 100 divided by 200, it's 50%. So you have a 50% loan to value. So if you have a credit score of 500 to 580, you can buy and or refinance a home up to 90% loan to value. As soon as you hit 580, you can qualify. I'm not saying you will for sure, but you can qualify or you will be eligible for a loan of 96.5% of the home's value. So in essence, when you're looking to purchase a home, do the difference. 100% divided by the 96.5% loan to value that you would get you would only need to put down 3.5% of a down payment. So again, we'll recap that, what I just said. 500 to 580, you can put down 10%, or you can go 90% of the home's value. 580 and above, you can go to 96.5%, or 3.5% of a down payment. So what I mean by that, I'll put that into math. You want to buy a $100,000 home? You want to go with an FHA loan? you have to put 3.5% down, so you would need $3,500 to purchase that home. Great program. So basically, that's the credit scores behind things. So here's what happens most of the time. You'll go online, or you'll get a, you'll call your bank, um, or whoever, maybe your realtor had you reach out to, and you'll apply, and you have a 590 credit score. So you hear my show, and you're like, okay, I can qualify for an FHA loan. You then get in contact with that company or that loan officer, and they say, you know what? You've been denied because you don't, you don't meet our minimum credit score. You're like, well, Dan, I have a 580 credit score. Every bank is, not every bank, but a lot of banks are different. And what we call an overlay is such as this. A lot of banks, even though the FHA guideline is 580 to, put, to go with the 3.5% down program, some of the banks will push that up to a 600, a 620, possibly even a 640. They have the right to do that. So you call them and you have a 590 credit score. They might come back and say, you can't get an FHA loan. And they're saying, you can't get an FHA loan. You need a 620 credit score or a 600 credit score. That's their guidelines. That's not FHA guidelines. So seek additional outlets or seek other opinions. And that's basically a part of the show. I'm trying to teach you all these other, all the facts behind things, and then you, you make the judgment on who you want to go to. Hopefully you choose me. Um, so that is the, the credit. We went over the credit score, the minimum scores required. Again, by FHA, not particularly by your bank. How much loan to value or what your down payment's going to be. Here's another reason people get denied. They will be denied because they said they'll, the bank will come back and say, your debt ratio is too high. You might be too embarrassed to say, what's my debt ratio? You know, or what does it mean? So here is what your debt ratio is. Your debt ratio is your monthly expenses divided by your monthly income. Now, let me break down what those expenses entail and what your income entails. Okay. 
So your expenses is anything on your credit report plus your house payment or your potential house payment. Okay, so those are your bills, not your you know, cell phone bill and your cable bill and your car insurance and things like that. What is on your credit report? So those that is your debts. Your income is your gross, before, which is before you're taxed, your gross income from your job. And I'll go over this in the next segment. What all income is required? How long do you have to be on the job? What kind of income can you use? And we'll go over that in the next segment. But it's so we're looking at your debts on your credit report plus your potential mortgage, or if you do have a mortgage, divided by your gross income. That is your debt ratio. So let's say your monthly debts come to fifteen hundred and you make thirty six thousand a year, which is three thousand a month. So we take your debts of fifteen hundred a month, divide it by three thousand, which is your monthly income you have a 50% debt ratio. So that's how we calculate that. On an FHA loan, you can go up to, in many cases, a 57% debt ratio. So we'll dig into all these numbers and things in the next segment. But again, you're you're listening to Dan Frio of The Mortgage Update. If you'd like to get a hold of me, please call 630-338-1160. Um, check me out on at 1160mortgage.com. Also, please check out one of the sponsors of the show, which is creditscoresandmore.com. The scores is plural, so creditscoresandmore.com. Thank you so much. I'll be back in two minutes. <music> 